Hello guys, it's the Squirrels Nuts here. I've got a video on Sound Crossing for you on PS3 this one. I'm gone support. Normally I play sort of Assault or Engineer class, occasionally a bit of Recon. I don't often play support. What I've done here is I've put this video together because I thought it would be interesting to see how I play support in this game and just to talk about what's going through my head as I'm doing it. As you can see we've got a nice mix, a couple of salt and engineer and a support guy, that's me in our squad. And we've got our squad perks for all compatible. So I get down and manage to jump out of that uh, IFV and plant the MCOM. I'm always worried when, when there's a ton of people in the IFV, I'm always worried that we're just going to get killed and give some guy a massive multi-kill. But I managed to get out of there just before it blew up and plant the MCOM. You notice how you can plant the MCOMs though? Even without facing the MCOM? And you can actually do it while holding a gun with two hands, which I just find a little bit crazy. Anyway, I just got revived there and then killed. Which is something I always say to people is, if you see uh, a dead body on the floor and you're gonna revive it, just make sure the area is clear before you do it. Do everybody a favor. Um, that guy didn't manage to do it that time. So here, um, having a bit of key trouble there, just keep getting the damn mortar out. But this <clears throat> this staircase here on, on Sand Crossing, you can see the MCOM just around, just down these steps to our right here. This here is a very, very sort of key strategic location to take. If you can hold this, you're just around the corner from the MCOM which gives you a really good launching point. So I'm staying here, just trying to watch the staircase, letting the rest of my guys try and fight their way in uh, to plant the MCOM. Now, we struggle. You, you'll see people keep dying, and they keep sort of spawning on me or reviving each other, but we can't get in. So I can't come upstairs think, I'll just get to a bit of a quiet spot because it's getting a little bit noisy down there. I think an RPG just came in, dropped me down to 10%, so I'm pretty useless at the moment. Just, you know, somebody as much as blows on me, and I'm going to die. So, the best thing I can do is stay up here and just drop some ammo, and look at the points I'm getting for the resupply. And this is one of the key things about playing your class. You know, support class, get your ammo down and get yourself a lot of points. Now, you're probably wondering where the hell I'm going here. I'm not running away like a coward. <laughs> What I'm doing is I've realised that we, we're struggling to break into that MCOM, which is in the middle of a very small square. So what I'm doing is, as you can see here, the first thing I've got to do is take out my number one enemy, which is the other mortar guy, and then I can start mortaring around this MCOM. You can see them in there, like little ants, there's lots of them, and that's the reason our guys can't break in. So I figured this was the ideal time to crack out the mortar. This is a a tactical sort of assault on the MCOM station. I'm not just trying to get kills here, I am literally trying to break through. Now one of the things you'll see in a second is me switch to the smoke. A lot of people don't know yet, they still don't know, that you can do smoke with mortar. If you're up, there you go, you see that there, right or left on the on the D-pad on console? It's literally switching the, the firing mode, if you like, of, of the mortar weapon, and that goes from explosives to smoke. Now, this is what I call my kind of um, soften and confuse tactic. I try and soften the enemy up by mortaring them. Um, this kills a few, but generally it causes them to scatter. And then if I drop smoke in there, I create a lot of confusion because you can see my team now are able to move in. Look at that. My squad get into the MCOM because I'm kind of switching between explosives and smoke. So that area, it's a pity we can't see it because that area right now would look just hilarious. The guys over there will be running around, deeply confused. Now you see I got mortared back then, I got, explo uh, got an explosion next to me. So quickly I get up and run off because I know that the the enemy team has got a mortar. He's trying to kill me now and one more hit and he would have, he would have had me for sure. So it's time to move on. Uh, we managed to get the MCOM station and you can see I... You know, not to put too fine a point on it, but my mortaring there really helped to get our team into that MCOM room. So, anyway, here we are down here, just waiting for um, being able to move up, move up, when I noticed the mortar guy. <laughs> he just sat in the middle of the road, so just... It's a pity you can't knife these guys, but if you try and knife them, you'll fail every time. So, did the next best thing, which is just hip-shot him in the face. 
and then unfortunately get taken out by a PKP. Anyway, so you'll see one of the, the next MCOM, one of them's on a bridge over the river, and then there's one on the other side of the river. And you'll see now that we kind of struggle to make a progress here. We can't get over this river. They, they're quite well defended. They're taking us out as we try and cross over. And I'm just kind of hanging back. I'm literally playing support in a supportive role. I'm not playing aggressively. I'm just kind of holding back, resupplying. If I think I need to mortar, I will. But otherwise, I'm letting my team kind of spawn on me. Occasionally, if I drop, you know, one of the assault guys will, will revive me. And that keeps our squad pretty much from losing any ground, which is the best thing in Rush. You just keep your squad. It's a bit like, uh, you know, American football when you try and push the line forward a little bit at a time. You've got to keep the line moving forward. And this is what this is about. It's keeping the line moving. So now I figure that we're going to make an assault. And I'm talking to people at, uh, on Skype at this point. And we're going to make an assault on this MCOM station here. So I'm doing my soften and confuse tactic here. I'm literally mortaring the MCOM station up, trying to kill some people, and then chucking some smoke in to try and you know, stop my uh, my guys from being seen so that they can run in and plant the MCOM. Now, as it turns out, Black Tiger 737 manages to kill me. So I sort of look at where he is and think to myself, all right, I'm going to have you. So when I'm spawning back here, I try and spawn on Twix, as you'll see. And this bit here, do you see that? That's one of my most hated things about the battlefield interface. You try and spawn on a guy, and as you're pressing to deploy, and it's counting down, the moment the guy you're trying to spawn on dies, it instantly deploys you in your in your deployment. Thankfully, it lets me get this guy's nuts. Yeah? So, it wasn't all bad, but it, in all seriousness, it is annoying to try and spawn on somebody only to get thrown back at the deployment. You know, on, on big conquest maps, that can just be an absolute bloody nightmare. Anyway, so the first thing you've got to do is find that guy, and I can see him there on the staircase. That's roughly where I saw him on the kill cam. So, bye bye, Tiger. That's him cleared. It's time to do what I can now to try and let let our guys move forward. But even in my deployment area, it looks like there's a sneaky little sniper has hung back somewhere. I was getting shot from the right then, and I was facing um, the MCOMs. So. That guy is back at the last set of MCOMs. He's not moved forward, he's stayed there. And he's picking people off as they come out of deployment, which is a bit cheeky. But, you know, totally within the rules. So now it's time to uh, to move up to the next set of MCOMs. Um, as you'll see here, we're just kind of... It's a bit of a struggle trying to get up the staircase. The the laying bullets down something nasty. So... You know, again, I think to myself, all right, it's time to create some more confusion. Because that is a long, that street there is a long kind of uh, corridor to defend down. It's one of the worst things you can do as an enemy, as, as an attacking team, sorry, is to try and assault down a long corridor. It's perfect for them to just camp it up, to snipe it, and shoot you as you're trying to make this assault. So one of the things you can do, as I'm doing here, put some smoke down, yeah? Stop that corridor from having a line of sight as you're trying to make your way forward. Lay it up with smoke, lay it up with mortars, and then your team can move forward. Unfortunately, I get reared. Guy comes around the back of me, another black tiger. Actually, if you watched the previous vid, you'll, you'll, rem you'll remember I talked about these guys. Black tiger. Um, they did quite well in this game, but the subsequent games from this one, we really sort of pasted them, really, to be quite honest. So, anyway, and now we can move forward. You can see the squad sort of reassembling, and, and as we're moving forward now, there's only one MCOM. We didn't. I don't think we took that one. Another part of the team took it. Another squad took it, not us. But that's okay. It's keeping us moving. We've still got loads of tickets to take one MCOM station out. I quite like Sen Crossing, actually. It's one of my, <clears throat> one of my more favourite maps. It works quite well in Conquest, and it works quite well in Rush. Not all maps do. And I kind of like the way that... Okay, it can be a little bit campy. You, there are some rooms, like, just on the first floor on the right here. You get some guys in there with a spawn beacon and claymores, and they can be an absolute nightmare to clear out. But you can just bring an engineer along and RPG the buildings, and that, you know, that opens the wall sections up. But even so, 
I, I kind of find it a very interesting map to play on, either in Conquest or in Rush. So now you can see I'm just waiting to move forward, but uh, it won't let me go that way. That's out of bounds, so I'm going to have to go in a different direction, which is just a little bit annoying. I can't see why they blocked that bit off, but hey-ho. What I don't notice is, as I'm sort of wondering whether I can cross the road here, I think I get taken out by a guy who... who just appears above me. I spot somebody up there. Look, there you go. Comes, I don't know where he came from. I think he must have jumped out of that window, but he he really got the jump on me. Those bloody tigers again. I think maybe the other guy was saying, was perhaps shouting out where we were, and, and he was able to just, you know, come round the corner and, and know, and instantly make get the drop on us. I don't know. That's annoying, isn't it, when that happens? You spawn on somebody, you get instantly taken out. Very annoying. Spawning is when you, particularly in rush, you know, you got to be careful when you spawn. You got to think about who to spawn on and where. If you see them in the middle of a firefight, good chances if you spawn on them, you're going to get shot before you even get a chance to work out which way you're facing. And as an attacking team, that loses your tickets, and that's bad. Better to spawn in a safe place and move yourself forward. You see that there? I keep trying to spot this guy. Ideally, if I was an engineer now, I'd have that wall off. I've got a feeling that's one of the Tiger guys. And I'm thinking that he was the one that then jumped down and took me out. But, you know, since I'm not an engineer and I can't really get a clean shot on him, there's not, not an awful lot I can do apart from suppress him and spot him and hopefully somebody else will take him. So, you know, yet again, try and do what you can given your class. That was the best I could do. I can see guys around here, I can see these markers. I'm a bit worried about just running straight in. I'm, as I say, I'm playing a kind of a holding back, moving forward slowly kind of role. So I'm very cautious about moving forward, and just as well, because I think I just got... I think that was a mortar that hit me. So obviously they've got their mortar guy back at their uh, MCOM. Assuming that's what it was, of course, but yeah, I was looking, I was, you know, did the right thing though, didn't I, being cautious. So I come around the other way, I realise I'm not going to get in that way. And this looks like a good spot to set up for a bit of mortaring. It's not, you know, nobody's got line of sight on me except another mortar. So I have a quick look, quick look round, see if I can actually see the other mortar guy, because again, he's got to be your number one priority. It's a little bit, a little bit like when you're in a helicopter uh, or a jet, you know, you're, and you have target priorities. You've got to take out the other helicopters and jets before you can start doing what you want to do. But luckily enough, there's no mortar guy I can see, so I start laying some smoke in, laying some explosives in. You can see Twix is in there, so he's managed to plant that MCOM. But unfortunately, I think he gets taken out, so now it's really down to me here, because my squad's now dead. They'll be sort of waiting to spawn on top of me. And I'm just sort of laying in some, some smoke and some uh, explosive, keeping that MCOM, stopping them getting over to it and, def and disarming it. I keep saying defuse. Don't defuse in this game, you disarm. <laughs> but yeah, I pick up some spawn points here as people, you know, spawn back on me. Uh, just get over here and just hide in these bushes, just trying to take stock of the situation, just make sure before I go legging it across there, just want to make sure that there aren't anybody you're just camping up here, he's going to pick me straight off. So I'll let the other guys move over, which sounds awfully selfish of me, but it's not selfish. <laughs> it's tactical. It's not me letting them get killed first at all. It's it's, it's me covering their ass, basically. If, if anybody take, jumps out on them, I can take them out, hopefully. That's my theory, anyway, and I'm sticking to it, okay? <laughs> so we're down to the left end con. We've got plenty of tickets. 40 tickets. We should be able to do this. I'm really low on health and I'm just doing what I can, but, you know, I, when you're down 25% health, it really doesn't take very much to take you out, but thankfully, I think one of my squad guys got him. It's looking pretty bad for them at this point. You can see our squad are performing pretty well, and there's a few other guys from, from the platoon are in there as well, um, but I think it's all over for them. They got we got 35 tickets and one MCOM station to take out. So what what can I do? Well, time to get in more more mortars, I think. Try to soften and confuse. Unfortunately, this one I can't actually mortar into, so all I can really do is, is lay some, you know, smoke down on that staircase. 
is going to stop people from seeing our guys as they try and move over to the MCOM to, to sort of defend it because we've got it armed now. But yeah, there you go. I don't think they get back from this one. There's the smoke though. You can see it in action. You can see that. There's no way. Even if they're inside though, they can't see you coming up that staircase. It's, you know, smoke is really useful part of assault. And if you've not used it, you really should, especially on rush, because it'll let your squad move forward. So anyway, that was. Uh, I thought I'd just basically put that video together. Um, before I go, just want to thank everybody for giving me some great feedback on the uh, squirrel concept art. Uh, a lot of great ideas came back on that. I think I'm going to go with a lot, lot of the ideas that said it should be battle hardened, put some scars on him, maybe a US Army helmet, maybe do one for each class. So I'm talking to my son, he's, he's over the moon with all the feedback, saying he's a great artist, I can tell you that. So thanks very much for that, guys. And uh, yeah, when we've got some more artwork, I shall, I shall uh, get that up and let you all take a look. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Take care and see you soon.